50 million years. They survived as tiny, shrew-like creatures living in the nooks and crannies of the dinosaur empire. The real question was not why the mammals did so badly, but why the dinosaurs dominated the Earth. The early extinction killed off the competition. In the struggle for supremacy, dinosaurs had one big advantage, strong, upright legs. The large Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus combine power with grace for running and supporting a heavy body. The bigger and really heavy dinosaurs made little pretense at poise. Both Centrosaurus and Dabrachiosaurus used their legs like straight pillars to support the great weight of the body. Evolution, in a sense, can be seen to be progressing very nicely through the fossil record. And then, bang, everything goes extinct, or a large percentage of everything goes extinct. The timetable is then reset in a sense, and then evolution carries on again, it progresses and develops, and then it can be reset again by an event such as mass extinction. The really intriguing thing is that these mass extinctions, um, it has been proposed, could be periodic. Death from outer space is not just science fiction. In March 1989, the Earth came close to another global catastrophe. Not dinosaurs this time, but ourselves. This special report. Reports of a large asteroid that narrowly missed the Earth in the early hours of the morning have just been confirmed. Dr. Harry Holt, the Arizona-based astronomer who identified the asteroid, said, We are now out of danger, but it was a very near miss indeed. How close did it come? It came about two times the distance from the Earth to the moon. But that's considered pretty close. That's very close. If it was much closer, it would be pulled in by the gravitational attraction of the Earth itself. How much damage would that 89 meteorite have done? A lot. An object of that size traveling at about 25 kilometers a second would hit the Earth with a force that was equivalent to about uh, 10 to 100 times the combined U.S. and Soviet nuclear arsenal. So it would be a very, very big impact. That the dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago is not in doubt. What is in doubt is why. Just what killed them is today's hottest debate among dinosaur detectives. And there are many theories. Did the climate change, were they too slow to adapt to evolution? Or, most intriguing of all, did something happen out there in space? Something so cataclysmic that it extinguished the dinosaurs, as it were, in a flash. idea is that there was a 10 kilometer body of rock that hit the earth at about 25 kilometers a second. That would yield about 100 million megatons of TNT worth of energy upon impact. And that's 10,000 times the combined 
U.S. and Soviet nuclear arsenal. So the near hit we almost had would be minuscule by comparison. Dinosaur detectives are in no doubt that an asteroid hit the Earth 65 million years ago. The question is, was it so catastrophic that it ended the dinosaurs at a stroke? Or was the impact just the last straw, a final blow on top of other changes in climate and environment that already had weakened and reduced the dinosaur empire? So far, the evidence is still being assessed. The verdict, unclear. We're here in the beautiful badlands of eastern Montana. And in this area, we have some remarkable rocks that preserve some real evidence for a detective story. One theory is that the dinosaurs died very gradually as a result of changing environments. And in this theory, during five, 10 million years, the environments changed so much that the dinosaurs could not keep pace, and they died out very slowly. Fewer and fewer kinds of dinosaurs were present. In this theory, as we climb from the bottom of these rocks up to the boundary layer, we would find fewer and fewer kinds of dinosaurs and fewer and fewer numbers of dinosaurs. There's another theory that the dinosaurs died very suddenly, perhaps in only a few years. And this theory holds that at the coal layer, there's a clay that late was laid down as a result of the impact of an asteroid. And the cataclysmic events of this asteroid impact caused the very abrupt demise of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur detectives had, by 1980, collected a mass of clues that pointed to a catastrophe from outer space. What was missing was the final proof. Then, 10 years ago, Walter Alvarez claimed he had found the evidence that clinched the debate. The importance of Alvarez is not that he has a meteorite or an asteroid or a cometary scenario rather than a supernova scenario. It's that he found this iridium level and for the first time gave us something we could test scientifically for catastrophic mass extinction. Walter Alvarez has found a layer of clay in the rock record that is saturated with iridium. It should not be there. Iridium in that concentration, he claims, could only have come from outer space. Here, he says, is the final proof why dinosaurs died out. Their world was extinguished by a calamity, immediate and devastating. Well, what it tells us is that the killer was a large rock falling from the sky, and a very large rock, something maybe five or five miles in diameter, something like that, falling at a very great speed, landing on the earth, and causing a, a variety of really terrible environmental disturbances, the result of which was that uh, dinosaurs and many different kinds of shelled animals, plants, microscopic animals and plants in the ocean perished. The sudden impact theory has not convinced all dinosaur detectives. The clues in the rock record are, for some, still too uncertain to close the file on the death of the dinosaurs. Is there evidence to, to connect the iridium with the disappearance of the dinosaurs? And I am not convinced. Now, the scenario suggests that uh, on, a, on a Tuesday afternoon, the sun was shining and the dinosaurs were just as happy as can be. And by Wednesday morning, the, the plane was dotted with these green lumps of uh, putrefying flesh and the mammals were scurrying around enjoying their prosperity. But the problem is the fossil record cannot distinguish between an event which happened between a Tuesday night and a Wednesday morning and an event which took 10,000 years to occur. And there's a world of difference between these things. Sudden death from an asteroid. Or were dinosaurs already on their way out? After 150 million years of their reign, the climate already was changing, favoring our ancestors, the mammals. Some think the scales already had been tipped against the dinosaurs before the meteorite struck. In these boxes now are the clues as to who's still around, who's not. Who's in the local economy? Who's not? These are our clues. This is where we make our census count. This is what determines who is present, who is not. Who is expanding? Who is going extinct? 
What we have found now is that there is a decline in dinosaur 